Welcome to DevNet Create. I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. I'm here with a very special guest, Pete. Hi, Sylvia. So yeah, I'm Pete Johnson. I'm a Principal Systems Engineer with Cisco's Global Partner Organization. You're a nerd, aren't you? I am, big time. You can tell from the look, right? I can tell by how excited you are with what you share on social media and on our blogs. So tell us about your latest blog on our developer site. Yeah, so that's really about the talk that I'm doing today, which is based on about nine months worth of research that myself and a couple other friends have put together around this notion of what if you could run serverless inside the data center? So what would that, that even entail? So the key component to any serverless application architecture is to have a function as a service runtime on top of which the individual functions can run. So in the public cloud, this is a service like AWS Lambda. But what do you do in the private data center when you want a similar form factor to how you architect your applications? So it turns out there's on the order of six open source projects that have more than 3,000 stars on GitHub that are all trying to tackle this problem of running, t taking Kubernetes and kind of running some software on top of it that turns it into a function as a service runtime, which you could then run serverless applications on top of. So that's the nature of my talk and of the blog article. Tell us about the work you've been doing with the DevNet team. Yeah, so m more recently, for about the last month or so, uh, Global Partner Organization also has a programmability function. So taking a lot of the great content that our friends at DevNet create and tailoring that for our partner audience. As you and I have talked about before, IDC thinks that there's about a trillion dollars worth of opportunity in the services area. So if you're a traditional value-added reseller and you're used to just selling hardware and the low margins that come with that, services revenue, not only is there a ton of it out there, but it's far more profitable. You see, you see profits, you know, you see profit margins in like the 30 and 40 percent. So if you're a traditional VAR, how do you take all this network engineer kind of knowledge and turn it into services? Well, the missing ingredient there is programmability. And, and that's what's so great about DevNet Create and all the different things that you guys do at DevNet is to, take, to help people unlock all that long found network engineering knowledge and program it in such a way that you can then go and create services you can sell out of it. So you want more partners to get more involved in the world of programmability. We have a message for partners out there, don't we? We do. So for the second year in a row, Global Partner Organization is running an innovation challenge. So last year, I think we gave away, it was $125,000 at two prize levels. This year, it's twice that. So it's $250,000 worth of prizes. You can find out more if you go to cs.co slash innovation challenge 2019. That'll forward you to a Sales Connect page. that will tell you all about it. Um, it also dovetails into the Shogun program. So if you're part of the Cisco partner ecosystem, you probably already know the Shogun program is this kind of reward system. It's, it's, it's similar to like the kind of reward point system that you would have like on a credit card or something like that, where you can earn points, Shogun points, for doing different activities, and then you can go to a website and cash that in for gift cards or, or, or all kinds of other physical goods if you want to. So, by partici just participating, submitting an entry to the innovation challenge that GPO is running, you get Shogun points just for participating. We already have, I mean, we're sitting here at the end of April, we already have more entrants this year than we had all of last year. And uh, the winners get announced at Partner Summit in the fall. So there's really no reason to be afraid to give it a try. If you're a Cisco partner, you should go for it. Oh, absolutely. The way that I phrase this for people is, so mo most people come to this arena, arena with a ton of network knowledge and are learning programming. I'm the opposite. I wrote my first line of code as a sixth grader in 1981. So if it's something I learned as an 11 year old, it's something that a professional networking engineer can take on. The learning curve is not as steep as you think, and DevNet does a great job at helping flatten that learning curve for you with the DevNet Express content, which we leverage as part of our programmability blitz program, where we take DevNet content and we expand on it for the, for the, the VAR that wants to take on that learning curve. So if you want to get started, make sure you check out developer.cisco.com. But you know what? You should also follow Pete at? Uh, NerdGuru. NerdGuru. Thanks so much.